5. ISRO, or Indian Space Research Organization has successfully launched the seventh and last satellite of the Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System or IRNSS. India becomes only the fifth entity to have a satellite navigation system of their own. Apart from India, US has Global Positioning System GPS, Russia has GLONASS, Europe has Galileo and China has Beidou as their navigational systems. Number 4 when Pakistani troops took positions in Kargil in 1999, one of the first things Indian military sought was GPS data for the region. The space-based navigation system maintained by the US government would have provided vital information, but the US denied it to India. A need for an indigenous satellite navigation system was felt earlier, but the Kargil experience made the nation realize its inevitability. Number 3. IRNSS will provide accurate real-time positioning and timing services over India, and region extending to 1,500 kilometers around India. The satellites in this series continuously beam down data that can be read even by smartphones. As with all other SATNAV systems, IRNSS will provide two services, a free one for civilians and a strongly encrypted one for the military. The civilian service is called the Standard Positioning Service SPS, and will have an accuracy of up to 20 meters. While the Encrypted Restricted Service RS, for authorized users only, is expected to have an accuracy of up to 10 centimeters, standard for most military systems. Number 2 The fully deployed system consists of three satellites in GEO orbit, and four satellites in GSO orbit approximately 36,000 kilometers altitude above Earth's surface. All the seven satellites belonging to the system are configured identically and operate together in what's called a constellation. However, the full system comprises nine satellites, including two on the ground as standby. Note that IRNSS is a regional SATNAV system. Regional SATNAV systems are those that provide coverage only to a certain part of the world in this case India. Global SATNAV constellations use more than 20 satellites. GPS uses 31 active satellites and GLONASS uses 24. These two are the only functioning SATNAV systems today with global coverage. Number 1. The constellation of satellites will give Indian civilian and military users, and their partners, access to a dedicated satellite navigation system. The civilian use includes navigation, disaster management and surveying. Military usages includes precision guiding of missiles, bombs and aircraft. Also, troops can use satellite data to carry out precise wartime or peacekeeping operations and can locate themselves and others easily. In future, IRNSS could be expanded with more satellites, giving it global reach. India has been making great progress in space and research fields. IRNSS would certainly boost country's credentials in this field. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. Kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve. India plan to activate a new data reception and tracking station in Vietnam. The Indian Space Research Organization or ISRO has set up a data reception.